Well, the NFL draft is happening very, very soon. The 49ers have the number three overall pick. Who would have thought that would happen? I'm still shocked to this day from a few days ago about this news. And I probably will still be shocked until they pick that somebody with the number three overall pick. It is going to be exciting. There is a lot of intrigue on what the 49ers want to do in terms of a quarterback. What if they just swerve everybody and don't even pick a quarterback? What if they pick like Kyle Pitts? That would be interesting right there. But I think we all know they're drafting the quarterback. They're trying to look for the long-term future. Kyle Shanahan and company. Jimmy G is probably not their answer from all the injuries and everything like that. I think that's what it really comes down to. Maybe I can make a separate video about that. But in this one, I want to talk about my man, my personal favorite, Trey Lance. Why they should pick him number three overall. And he could be the real draft pick for them. I don't know yet. They might be thinking Justin Fields, Mac Jones maybe, Zach Wilson if he's there, but I'm just going to be assuming that the Jets do take him. Lance, I think he has everything that you need to be a successful quarterback in the NFL and especially in Kyle Shanahan's system. That is just a marriage to be happening in a great way. I'm excited for this and yeah, let's just get this video started. But before I do, as always, please like and subscribe. That's going to definitely help you out a lot. Share this video, share this content with fellow Niner Faithfuls or just any football fans in general or Trey Lance fans if you guys are from North Dakota State. Let's get this started. 49 reasons why they should draft Lance with the number three overall pick. One of the reasons they should is they have time to develop a quarterback because Jimmy Garoppolo is there. I'm assuming that he's going to be the starter in 2021 unless they cut him or something like that, but I don't believe they cut him any way, shape, and form. He is going to be the starting quarterback in 2021 because he gives you the best chance to win this year in particular. I don't think I've seen a rookie quarterback win the Super Bowl in his first year. Maybe in the second year like Russell Wilson and Ben Roethlisberger, but nobody in their first year. So this is a perfect opportunity for Jimmy to actually be motivated from this whole trade-up thing. I'm pretty sure he was a little bit upset that he knows he's probably not the future of this team. But you know what? You could be like Aaron Rodgers, take this motivation and just go off, be an NFL MVP, do great things like that. I don't think he will be MVP, but I think he could play better than he did in 2019. So I'm excited for that. I'm excited for the extra motivation that Jimmy will get from this whole draft ordeal. But Lance, being able to sit, learn under Jimmy Garoppolo, learn under Kyle Shanahan, learn under the system, and just learn. That's all you can really do. I mean, this could be a really similar situation. As you all know, in Kansas City, our man Alex Smith training Patrick Mahomes for a year or two, and then Mahomes took over, and they won the Super Bowl a few years later. That could be something that the 49ers could be looking forward to very soon. But the difference is Jimmy Garoppolo could lead this team to the Super Bowl win, and then a couple years later, Lance could lead this team to another Super Bowl win if he does come to the 49ers. That is just awesome, optimistic things. I know I'm getting a little too positive but at the same time I love to talk about more positivity than negativity and I think this would be a perfect scenario and this would be a big reason why they would even trade up to get to the number three overall pick because maybe Atlanta's thinking about them Carolina might be thinking about him so San Francisco wouldn't take the chance and they'll just draft the number three overall and not have to worry about it at all another reason they should draft him with number three overall pick is the system of offense he ran in North Dakota State it's very similar to Kyle Shanahan I can't really explain it exactly I'm not the football expert guy West Coast offense being able to look at audibles, drop back, all that normal stuff that you do for a pro-style offense. That's the biggest reason why he's probably my favorite pick in this whole draft is to run a pro-style offense. I mean, you look at Ohio State, Justin Fields, they run a spread offense. You look at Alabama, Mac Jones, I'm pretty sure they run a spread offense as well. So having a guy that's coming out of the pro-style offense and coming to the NFL with pretty much very similar knowledge very similar scheme it makes it very easier to make the transition into this particular system and plus I mean he's really good with what is it called play action there you go play action I almost forgot what I was about to say but play action is something that he's really good at and they did a lot at North Dakota State and that's perfect for the 49ers they do that quite a bit as you all know running the ball passing the ball when necessary the guys that he's going to be throwing to if he does come to this team just spectacular you got Brandon Ayuk who's in his second year Debo Samuel if he can stay healthy George Kittle all pro tight end a lot of targets to go to if he does come in a couple years a lot of optimism for me for Lance if he does come to this offense and it'll be a very similar offense that he did run in North Dakota State so that's an extra advantage for him over the other quarterback that they might be thinking of drafting this year number one for me there's not really a number one but the last reason why I would draft him is just his size I know size isn't everything I mean you look at other guys like Russell Wilson Kyler Murray Drew Brees they have a lot of success being short guys I guess you want to call Lance he has the perfect size 6'4 227 pounds very smart 
intelligent guy, a recipe for success right there. And you know what? I shouldn't be making too much of this, but I think having size is an important thing, especially if you have to take a pounding, which you do in the NFL. If you can take care of your body and not take the unnecessary hits like Cam and Ben would do, then I think you'll be fine to be able to have that height, to be able to have that size, to look at receivers, throw to receivers, to take a pounding if you have to take a pounding once in a while. That's a really good trait right there. The biggest reason why I would draft them is the second reason running a pro style offense going to the NFL a very not seamless transition but an easier transition than somebody that would come from a spread offense I mean you do have spread offense guys that do succeed with the coaches in the NFL adapting to their style but Lance I mean this would be a perfect transition for him in my opinion that's pretty much it you guys you have other guys that I like Justin Fields I'm still on and off about him just because he's an Ohio State quarterback and a lot of them don't have success unfortunately in the NFL you have Mac Jones I don't know if I'm completely sold on him but he is growing on me just a little bit but I think it'd be a little bit of a reach to draft the number three overall please let me know what you guys think about trey lance would you draft him with the number three overall pick please let me know in the comments below if you guys like this please like and subscribe that's going to help me out a lot i'll be catching you guys up hopefully tomorrow on a friday if not a saturday bye guys love y'all y'all have a great rest of your night go niners all day